you've been instructed not to issue warnings, and your responsibility to remind your teammates to follow. Coaches, will your teams be properly and legally equipped? Yes. Captains, please. Burlington Township traveled to Cinnaminson Tuesday for a meeting of Burlington County Scholastic League Liberty Division boys soccer powers. The Falcons got off to a sluggish start in their bid to reach 5-0 for the first time in team history, but Brandon Ortiz got them on the board in the 32nd minute with the first of his two goals. My coach likes me to go 1v1 at them at pace, so I just went at, went at him, won the touchline, crossed it to Brandon, and we got the goal. I made a good run to the middle. Justin Delapena, he gave me the cross, had a nice outside foot touching. Ortiz didn't net the next one, but he did draw the foul that put Justin De La Pena at the penalty spot just four minutes later. I try to look at the other corner to throw the keeper off a little bit, so I looked the left and then shot it right. Ortiz added his second goal of the game just 47 seconds later, and Township led 3-0 at the half. Sinemanson got one back three minutes into the second half on Mason Stepnowski's long volley from the corner of the box, but it wasn't enough. Burlington Township held on for a 3-1 win. I feel like all three of their goals came in the last 10 minutes of the uh, first half. So I don't know if we got lulled to sleep, just thought it was going to be 0 0 at halftime. But uh, you know, you got, you got to play all 40 minutes of each half, and um, you just can't break down like that. They had the run of play for the first, I guess, 30 minutes of the game. And then when we made some changes, um, you know, we started to open it up a little bit and we got in on them, and that's when, you know, the goal started to happen. For the Burlington County Times, this is John Lewis.